Hello guys, I'm back again for another tutorial regarding our Go Auto Dial V4. Uh, our our tutorial for today is for changing the default port to another port so that we can prevent uh, some zip attack when our server is open to anyone. So or much better you can use a firewall or if you are using um, AWS server you can set up your security group and allow some IP there under the security group uh, if you don't have if you did not use uh, AWS server or any cloud server have a firewall or security features on their portal so much better you can configure it or if you don't have you can install the IP tables or some firewalls like UFW for Ubuntu or <coughs> for CentOS you can use the firewall T and CF CSF firewall so uh, our next video I will teach you on how to install and configure the CSF firewall so that you can use it on your VC dial or the go to dial server okay guys for today I will we will show you on how to change the fort so that uh, we can we can prevent some zip attack on our servers so many of dialers uh, when we you when you new install or old install you are always see some zip attack on your feed so I will log in my user so I will check if still working because uh, I did not I just use this as a uh, for tutorial purposes <coughs> so let me try to log in Okay, so it's still working so uh, when you are in your server or in your go to dial admin page so this is the admin dashboard so you can see your agent on call agent waiting or agent on post So, um, we're going to check our deport port. So, you need to go to your administration and then go here in your WebRTC dialer setting. Okay, so after oops, WebRTC dialer setting, and then from this one our web port so this is the default port and then our web artist zip, zip port this is our default port so for now we need to change this so from 4443 I want to change it to 88643 so wait wait so this is our new port now from so our web rtc the port port is 4443 so we change to 8443 and also our web rtc zip port <coughs> from 5060 so we going to change to um, 70 or 7 or 560 okay so anyone you you can foot for so I will change this one to 6090 <coughs> then I will save so when you try to log in again your so I will sign out my agent let's see what will happen so 
I will open the inspect so you can trouble using the inspect so so that you can see what is the error or what uh, what part or port so when I click sa login Okay, so let me check again if uh, I will log out first. Okay, then log in again. So, look on, you can see I'm not able to connect to my uh, web socket because of the port is now 8843. So, I will check on my security group if the port is allowed. So, we're going to add the port on for the web RTC. And also, if I check here, my Camillo, Camillo is working. <coughs> so, if you can see all my fort possible to pass because it's open to all for now. So, I will edit, edit. So if you see, I'm still getting an error on my web socket port. So our also because you need to configure. You're going to go to your Nano Edge Camillo, <coughs> then Camillo. That CFG. So from here you need to go down. If you see. 
here so you need also to change this one to your uh, this is the web RTC port and going down <clears throat> and from here you can need to also change this for your web RTC zip port so I use 6090 okay then save and then we need to restart our Camellio and then need to check let's check our Camellio if so okay so I want to reload then zip reload and then gonna back on here I will request the page let's see if we are able to connect using the new fort 8843 so when I press the login again then campaign let's see okay if you see I'm able to register my account and let's see if we have so I will log out again and log in so because I did not hear the prompt voice I will try to also you can add the UDP port custom UDP port so from 9,000 to 35,000 <coughs> so this will be an RTP and also add another rule So forty thousand two sixty five five three five. So I will also go to anywhere. It's also RTP uh, web RTC. Then save. back again to our So I'm having a problem to my internet.
Okay, so we are successfully changed our default fort to another fort. So you are safe now for some zip attack. So <coughs> so our this will be our WebRTC port. The default port is 4443 and we change it to 8843. <coughs> and our WebRTC zip port is 5060 and then we change it to 6090 okay so is that <coughs> okay guys uh, we are successfully modified our default port so this is to, uh, this is our tutorial for now and don't forget again to like share and subscribe and click the notification bell for update on my latest video and also you are up, uh, always receive some notification if I have some upload a new video on my channel so thank, thank you guys and God bless to all so keep safe and and Thank you for watching. So, see you again on my next video. Uh, maybe I uh, will set up a CSF firewall for the Go Social. So I will open all port and block it you and block it using the CSF firewall, so that you can secure your server for the attackers. So. Zip attack are as uh, mostly used to <coughs> generate traffic, and once they get an access, they will make a ghost call, and you will be built, or they will uh, they will get you build you on your provider, so more dollars will wipe out or you you need to pay that dollars because you are fault because you don't have any firewall in your server so you you need to prevent that because <coughs> it's a uh, very important to have a firewall on your server especially on our dialers okay guys thank you and uh, I will back again for another video bye bye